So this is just a bit of a uh, informative post on heat soak and heat soak with intercoolers and electronic diesels. So you've just seen the 70 series V8 wagon just running up on the dyno. We'll come back here and have a bit of, a little, bit of a look at our dyno runs here. Now we've had sort of about three initial runs in around the 125 kilowatt range. It's a standard vehicle, no mods to it yet. But we thought while we've got it in here, we're doing an exhaust and a chip upgrade and stuff on it. Let's do a bit of a heat soak test. So we ran the thing under steady state, warmed it up to some reasonable temperatures. Still not hot. We actually measured the uh, inlet going into the intercooler with the hot side of the turbo. It was about 95 degrees and the intercooler on the cooler side was at about 85. So it's only dropping about 10 degrees out there. But even at 85 degrees intercooler temperature, we've lost 20 kilowatts. So when people sort of say, oh, you know, the tune is great on the day and guys use water spraying and cooling intercoolers down, we don't like that. We actually like to have the vehicle hot so we see what it's doing on the road. We've got a 20 kilowatt drop here. So we could have just said, hey, we've just tuned it up and gained you 20 kilowatts when in fact, really, that's just the heat loss in power. Now, how does that happen? They've got an air temperature sensor in the intercooler that's there for safety when it starts getting hot it starts cutting the fuel back. And when you cut fuel back in a diesel, it's really simple. You cut back power. So going back to the knowledge of intercoolers and heat soak and stuff, you've seen that post with the twin fans mounted on one of these 70 series V8s. We say it's a good thing. In fact, every top mounted intercooler probably should have a fan on it or two because they just don't work and they suffer from a lot of heat soak. The Bonnet scoop is at ground level where there's not much wind speed, there's a lot of wind turbulence. So again, intercoolers that are top mounted are great when they've got fans on them, not so good when they haven't got fans on them. But it's not much of an option. In a lot of vehicles, it's all that can be fitted. So if it's going to be there, make sure it's got fans on it. But here we go, intercooler heat soak, and we're knocking 20 kilowatts off the power of this vehicle. What's the guy saying? He's from right up near Atherton, up in Cairns. When it's in hot conditions, I feel like the thing's dragging on the ground. Well, he's losing 20 kilowatts, and 20 kilowatts is nearly 20% of the power of the vehicle. So, again, we also go back to tuning and safety. If you over-tune diesels, you will end up with damage. If this is cutting back 20 kilowatts, imagine if you tuned it so you could keep those 20 kilowatts when it's hot. It's not safe. So be very, very careful when you've got guys promising high power gains out of tunes. I'll guarantee my bottom dollar it's not a safe tune particularly when you look at what the factory is doing by cutting fuel loadings back and cutting power out. So just remember on a hot day with your diesel, if you feel like it's dragging its tail on the ground, it's probably doing it for a good reason because that intercooler is hot, it's getting heat soak and the ECU is starting to cut the fuel loadings back for safety. A bit more information to come with some other tests. Keep watching this Facebook, of course. Get on to YouTube as well. I'm Andrew from Berrimer Diesel.